Hello once again everyone, I am playing with Mui with another My Awkward Fears. It's a wacky video series where you, the viewer, get to learn a little bit more about me, playing with Mui, through the weirdest way possible, My Awkward Fears. <sighs> what to say about this one? Uh, this thing, creature, monster, scary thing. So, you know, the last couple of my uh, awkward fears revolved around dreams, you know, weird dreams and stuff. You know, you had the, the ghosts, you had the cats, and now you have another ghost thing. I don't even know if you could call it a ghost. It's just some sort of, like, weird spirit, I guess, that just kind of haunted me in my dreams. It, it enjoyed tormenting me. Um, there was never really a name for it, I just kind of referred to it as the, I don't know, the vacuum ghost, I guess, because it's basically how it worked. I don't know, like, when I was little, you know, I was really big into horror movies, you know, like, in particular, I really enjoyed Nightmare on Elm Street, which is probably where, you know, a bunch of the weird dreams and stuff that I have, or have had, come from. Possibly. I don't know. Freddy has invaded my dreams a few times. Uh, those are pretty freaky. But this one in particular had nothing to do with Freddy. Um, this one was sort of like a, I don't know, a weird monster, I guess, that just sort of lived in the dark. So, after, you know, I explained in the WAJ Ghosts that, you know, I lived in a house. Well, after that, I lived in an apartment. And this apartment, I had my own room. And then there was the living room on the other side of the wall from where my room was, and, you know, my, my parents would sit there. And at night, there would usually just be those lights on in the living room, and then in my bedroom. And then, you know, when you know my parents go to sleep, then they put on the light in, you know, in the, the bedroom that's all the way down at the other side of the apartment. So, in between that time, everything else is dark, and I, you know, have a tendency to remember that. So, that seems to happen and come up in my dreams. So, because of that, those dark areas and, you know, all the mystery that the dark has to offer got my imagination going, I guess, in my dreams. So, here comes this, uh, monster. I, I would, you know, be in a dream where I'd just be, you know, doing my thing, and I would be in my room... And just hanging out and then I would come out of my room and then as I would walk by the bathroom which was right next to my my bedroom all of a sudden I would feel myself being pulled in to the bathroom into the darkness the spooky scary darkness where anything could be so I'm trying to walk on by just you know just casually just trying to get away from this thing, you know, and I'm trying to, you know, run, and, you know, sometimes in your dreams, you know, you can't really run, and you're just kind of moving in place, well, this, I'm just kind of being pulled in, and I have no control over it, and I'm being pulled into the bathroom, and then as I get pulled in there, then the door starts to close, and sometimes I would be, you know, fighting with the door, I'd try to, you know, grab the door, or, you know, try to keep the door open, but it would just keep slowly closing against my will, and then it closed, and now I'm locked in there, in the complete dark. And this is where it kind of gets different at points. Like, I mean, I, I can't really remember exactly what would happen, but I think particularly in the bathroom one, and I mean, and, and this is just gonna take away from the entire seriousness, however much there might have been at this point, I really doubt there was much. I distinctly remember at one point, this monster was the toilet, and I remember try because I think at this point I had, had multiple dreams, uh, you know, at this point uh, of this particular sort of thing, and I, at at this point I was trying to reason with it. I was like, you know, trying to be nice with the the, the toilet monster, and I was like, you know, how about we just be friends? You know, you don't have to murder me. You don't have to you know, terrify me and stuff like that, you know, we, we could just hang out and, and be cool. And I think, you know, to, to some points, I, I you know, in, in these particular dreams, because I have had many, many of these, and obviously I can't remember them all, but um, I think it, it, this particular one, and, and maybe a few others, I had actually 
reasoned with the monster or whatever, and it just kind of, you know, it took it easy on me, and it was nice to me, you know, we were just kind of, and it would let me leave, you know, I would, I could leave the bathroom now, and I, I don't have to be, you know, stuck in there, but I remember, I, I also distinctly remember one other dream, when I was, you know, as I mentioned, there was another bedroom on the complete other side of the apartment, and it would be dark. So I remember I had this one dream where I was walking out of my room. I managed to make it past the bathroom this time. And I would be around the living room. I think nobody was in the living room. But, you know, all the lights and stuff and the TV was on. I was like, all right, what's going on here? So I kind of walked close to the kitchen, you know, and that's right next to the bedroom. And then I would walk over there and then all of a sudden I would start getting pulled into the darkness of the, you know, the mix, the darkness of the kitchen and then the bedroom. And I was being pulled into the kitchen, and then from there I was being pulled into the bedroom, and I knew I wasn't going to get away. It was like, it, it was almost like a vacuum, you know, the, the closer you get to the source of the, you know, the, the, the suckiness, the more it pulled me in. So if I was further away, it would pull me just gently, but as I got closer, it would pull me stronger and stronger. And then I got pulled into the bedroom, the door closed behind me, and I distinctly remember trying to outsmart this monster because I knew it was in there in the dark, and I closed my eyes, and I just didn't want to look at him. And I could hear him, and he was, you know, roaring, and I could just imagine that he was, you know, this big, huge, scary thing, but I just closed my eyes, and I didn't have to look at it, so I wasn't that scared. And, uh... Sometime after that, I just woke up, and uh, that's basically what happens in these uh, in these dreams. And so, yeah, there's nothing more to say about that. That is my awkward fear.